Okay everybody, we continue on with more of Pokemon Sun. This is Mega Man NG, and previously we've completed all of Route 4, well we covered Route 4, Battle Trainers, encountered the farm, and took a little picture of a little pup. Now then, we're about to move on to Route 5 before we begin. This is still my team as it is, it hasn't changed much, but I'm still upset that Kadabra has not learned a new attack yet. It hasn't learned Confusion, and I'm beginning to ask myself, when is it gonna learn it? I may not know for sure, but... We can always hope. As always, special thanks to Nintendo for providing me a copy of this game. I have been enjoying it. And for some odd reason, this place is getting a bit dark. I'm one of the trial guides here that helped out young trial goers on their island challenge. And my particular duty is to test just how strong trial goers have become. Let's see if we can beat all the trainers on Route 5 for starters. All the trainers, huh? Well, we got two. One plus one is two. But it could also be three or four. There's no way we'll lose. It's important to feel strong. A double battle. Now this is gonna be fun. The only problem I have is it's simple. Basically one of them doesn't even have anything to defend with. One sending out Happiny, the other sending out Igglybuff. Pre-evolved forms of Chansey and Jigglypuff respectively. All right, my friend, time to go on the attack. Wait, if they're fairy types, then this could mean one thing. Maybe this could help. And Kadabra can't really do much. So I'll have to teleport out. Yes, not. Yeah, I figured it'd be right, since I am pretty smart at what I do. And Kadabra leveled up to level 21. So can I please get like a special attack now? That can do! We got Side Beam! And it used Sweet Kiss. Won't work, my friend. Now Kadabra can actually fight back for a change. Alright, Side Beam. But I gotta wonder, why the heck couldn't it learn Confusion from the start? And they actually brought the traditional Gen 1 slash 2 effects. The <laughs> Very smart. And now Magnemite's at level 22. Good. I'm too young for math. A loss and a loss make a double loss. And another loss I'm adding along with it is a triple. And finally, Kadabra now can actually battle for once. Good, because I thought it'd be pretty useless to have. Well, after this, now I'm wrong. Yeah, but it still bugs me. How come that Kadabra couldn't learn Confusion the instant it had it? I don't get it. Wait a minute. What's up here? <laughs> Man, I lost again! Are you even taking this seriously? I am! So seriously! I'm seriously enjoying it! Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it. Which clearly you haven't. Whoa! Hey, Jose! This guy is plenty scary! You're Jose? Yes, that's me. Hm, <laughs> not very cautious. Even some Pokémon have a better sense of self-preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. I battle for my partner, Null, to make it strong. Though most of our time gets used up doing small jobs for Team Skull. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. And I'm saying here, I love the battle music for him. And he sends out Zubat. I'm sorry, I'd rather keep my mouth shut than you can listen to this, trust me. You know what? Fine. For the rest of this fight, you'll just listen to how awesome the music is.
finally beat him. How annoying. Dude, Gladi and chill. It's just a fight. <laughs> it's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. Strong opponents? That kid there. His Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You know my Gramps? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Aw, oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we got enough backbone to cover for you. Just give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of our time thanks to you? If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklet Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying, and it's time we should be flying. Listen up good, Gladian. The boss does like you, that's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really, and you will never be. Got it? You better get it. Something about this just isn't right, and I apologize if I was quiet most of the time because the song for it was that good. Thanks, Jose, and Kadabra too. It was a good battle. Phew, looks like I gotta train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial at Brooklet Hill next. Here, Jose, take these with you. We're gonna beat this silent challenge. More revives, how terrific. Next stop is another trial site, Brooklet Hill. What's a booklet anyway? Is it like a booklet? How about no, it's not like a booklet. Far from it. At least now, Kadabra can actually fight back for a change. And I can at least have fun with my other Pokemon. I can't just be leaving them hanging, you know that, right? Another Super Potion. And let's see what's around here in this route anyway. It never hurts to check it out, huh? Ah, oh, another little pup. I mean, come on. Don't you think that's enough? I'm trying. I hate having to deal with this pup for so long. And besides, my Pokemon, my Kadabra here, will make mincemeat out of you. Good mincemeat, in a good way. And this way is blocked somehow, so we can't even check out what's up there. At least not yet. What's this? That's a Fomantis. Okay, now I'm really curious. Well, I gotta find out. Oh, we don't kill it though. And it does. Kadabra, you're being a bit too feisty for your own good. You're gonna be going in the back for a while. Yeah, since Kadabra is way too strong with its special attacks. No, I'm actually being serious. Look at its stats. Special attack is, like, really high. Oh, and also, some call me Johnny of Brain Scratch likes Kadabra, too, being his favorite. What makes me wish why he didn't evolve it to an Alakazam. Alakazam would be even more ridiculously strong, but also ridiculously fragile due to its poor defenses. Not again. There's my Sharja bug. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, that Charger Bug looks like a school bus for some reason. Looks like a cocoon. But it's gonna take a while for it to level it up and evolve it. Alright, let's see what else is there. Not this bird. Anything but that bird. And I know the trial is soon, but I need to at least put some time towards catching Pokemon. I gotta make sure I at least have one segment of it. 
Too bad the Fomantis that I encountered went down. And the same can be said for the Machop as well. Come on, I just want to at least catch it to get it over with. Well, didn't expect this. And at level 14, by that point, that thing would be at least be a Butterfree. Come on. Not again. Still waiting. I mean, come on, how hard is this? How hard can it really be? Come on, I gotta get lucky at least. There you go, and we encounter the Fomantis. Alright, let's see how things can get. Can't use acrobatics on it, and yeah, it's a grass type. Alright, good. And it's calling for backup. Nope, backup did not show up. Now let's catch it. Oh my, okay. Come on, I thought I would get it. And that Fury Cutter is getting stronger with every hit. More hits mean more damage. There you go. Caught it. At least the experience helps charge a bug. And trying to say it is not easy. But its defense is really high. Let's see if it gets added to the decks. And it does evolve. I see. Number 143. During the day, it sleeps and soaks up light. When night falls, it walks around looking for a safer place to sleep. That's kind of strange. Hey, I don't understand how Pokemon work in the environment, but still. And it's almost dark. By 6 p.m. at least, it'll be nighttime. And let's be honest, that's how daylight savings time worked now that it ended. Okay, so now that we got that done, it's battle time. One of the duties as a breeder is to discover and refine the strengths of Pokemon. I see. So let's do this. I'm up for a fight if that's what you want. And it sends out more low. I've never seen a Pokemon like that before. Alright, Kadabra. Now you can have fun being the ever-living snot out of anything. Here, Psybeam. And it uses a brilliant flash! Accuracy took a hit! I'm sorry, but I still have this Pokemon Stadium sense in me. Now it makes me wish we could ever have one for either like the Nintendo Switch that's coming up or maybe on the handheld. That would be something, though having a Pokemon Stadium like Ging on the Switch would really be something. And it's sending out a Letty buff. Though I'm surprised no one has sent out Letty in yet. Alright then, commence Offensive Fury. And still survived it. It's stronger against special attacks. Though if it used Reflect, it'd be the other way around. Down for the count. Nice. Trombeak level up to 22. 
I want to know what my strengths are. Well, if you keep on improving, then you'll eventually know. That's another trainer, Pete. Though I wonder what else is around here besides this. So far, I've only taken down two trainers. A double battle and a single battle up north. What's this? If you continue up this path, you'll find a Pokemon Center. And past that Pokemon Center is the trial site, Brooklet Hill. And a trainer's yearning for a fight! Just what I needed. Oh goody, a pick-a-pack. And I won't deal with that, it is mad strong. I'll wait for when I get my chance in battle. And at least I'm now happy Kadabra can now fight back, because if it didn't have that, then I would consider it useless. But may I please first get my berries before you have the gall to challenge me again? Good, thank you. Just three? Eh, it's fine. Let's go into battle then. Let's go. Battles are the best for raising Pokemon. As they always are. Take it from me, I battle a lot. Though I had been out of Pokemon for quite some time after Omega Ruby. I don't know why, but now it makes me want to go back and just get everything. Alright, Kadabra, go in and engage. And now I'm against the fucking grass type. Here, have a taste of Psybeam. With that, he wipes out everything. No wonder it's so strong. Yeah, no, no joke right there. And it's summoning a Spinarak, a Johto poke. All right, let's do it. Return. Well, it's still just as cool to see. Now, confusion. Scary Nightshade does damage regardless of level. Rather, depending on the level, it does a set amount of damage. It's like that with most attacks, including Psy Wave. But if it was in max level, level 100, then it would just do only 100 damage. And so much for the bug! That takes care of it. Even if Pokemon lose, it's okay as long as the trainer grows from that. Yeah. I think we're about to reach it, so for the time, let's do a little bit of switching around. There you go. Let's get ourselves healed up, because if anything, we need to be real strong for the fights ahead. And in this island, there's like only three trials. We're about to tackle the first. Yeah, the Kadabra sticks out like a sore thumb because it's in a great ball. And who's this guy right here? The Totem Pokemon. They have fearsome defenses. Yes, they do. Perhaps you might use this to your advantage. Thanks, didn't I already get a Dire Hit earlier? Using a Dire Hit on a Pokemon makes it more likely to land critical hits with its attacks. Thanks. But the weird thing I still haven't gotten a Fishing Rod yet. I wonder where you get it. Get one. Oh well, let's just press onwards. Our next trial awaits. Brooklet Hill. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklet Hill. You look like an able-bodied trainer. Could I ask for your help with something? Sure. Then follow me. This way, please. Let's follow Lana and see what's up ahead. Oh, I hope it's something good. Well, in any case, we can always find out. Wait a minute, is it like through here or is it through... Right here. We get another netball, that's good. And a trainer. No doubt. I'll teach you some tricks that guarantee hooking some Pokemon. Now, if only I can get myself a rod. 
Then I can start catching water Pokemon. And it's against a fisherman. A Barboach and a Lure Ball. They're actually incorporating Gen 4 po I mean, Gen 4... Was it Gold Silver? I forget. Whatever, let's just take the fight to him. Water Sport. Meaning fire moves are weakened considerably. And that crit really did help. Mud Bomb, it didn't work. Try this on for size. There, you're beat. So much for that. Very good. Who else is sending out? Good, a Golden. So, which is perfect for me because I'm sending out my Dartrix. Go in there and engage. And it's about to level up once this battle's done. No doubt about it. Let's just help make things easier, shall we? Wait. Yeah, Water Sport. Basically, it lasts the half power of fire moves for five turns. I see. Razor Leaf it then. You've... Uh, that wasn't a good idea because of that flail. But it didn't do much damage. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, but I spot you. Not effective. But at least I can always do this. Taken care of. Level 23. This is coming along nicely. I'm not sure I need to teach you any fish fishing tricks. That water pulse really did some damage. Let's get you dried up. Yeah, you seem so chuckly. Look at it, look, look, see that right there? When you touch it right there, look at its face, it's just... Wow, I think it kind of gets annoyed. Yeah, you don't like doing that. But at least everywhere else it's okay. And it seems pretty pleased with itself. Alright, that should do it. Alright, now that we got that taken care of, let's move on. And it means one thing, we may be encountering some trouble. There you go. Yeah, that's how my team is for the time being, but I may change things up. There she is. See? Do you see that there? Look at that vigorous splashing. I wouldn't be surprised to find a fearsome Pokemon is the one causing it all. So brave trial goer, I would like to ask you to investigate the splashing there and find out who exactly or what exactly is causing it. I won't ask you to swim out there of course. I have a lovely gift for you instead. A Lapras! If you climb atop Lapras there, you'll be able to travel over bodies of water. That's right, you'll be even be able to reach those splashes and see what is going on there. So what is causing that splashing? Go see, but don't drop me there! I'm not waterproof! Oh, you can actually speed up that. Oh, so that's what it's doing. But at least now this gives me a good opportunity to see if water Pokemon's around. And it's a wishy-washy. Maybe I can replace my Slowpoke for something better. Well, only one way to find out. 
Here, eat this. And it uses faint attack. Also using another fan attack. All right, I think I've done damage enough. Let's just catch it and see what happens. Really? You're gonna do that? Not fair, man. Okay, fine. I'll just use a net ball instead. You heard that, right? Critical capture. What? Are you kidding me? The critical capture did not work? What? No, no, seriously. What? Are you kidding me? It. I wasted both of my netballs on this thing and it still did not catch it. Are you kidding me? So, you just saw it. You saw it, right? Critical capture fail! This is so dumb! And yet I can't even catch it with a Pokeball. Come on! I'm gonna keep getting wiped by that brine. Come on already, just let me catch it already. If I have to spend more money just to stock up on these things, fine. That's fine by me. But that's not an excuse to act like a douche. Not good. Okay, fine. Then I may as well use the only option left. This. This had better work. This fish is so annoying to catch, I'm already wasting a good few minutes on it. This is just stupid. I'm serious, this is just dumb. Okay, fine. I wasted two net balls, a few pokeballs, and some ultra ball, and an ultra ball on it. And yet this thing refuses to concede. This is unfair. Absolutely unfair. Come on, just let me catch you, please. This is absurd, man! Absurd! And if, you think, and if you think I'm doing this for show, no, this is actually real emotion that's happening right now as I'm trying to capture this fish! Stop being a douchebag and let me catch you for a change, you annoying wishy-washy! I am stocking up as soon as this episode's done. I'm going to a Pokemon Center. I'm This is becoming mad stupid. I swear, I'm wasting like, like six, seven, eight, I don't know how long it is. This has to be a mad struggle just to catch a wishy-washy. Thank you! You made me waste more of that for this! This is without that the stupidest, most annoying capture I ever had to deal with. This is mad dumb, I swear. I hate dealing with that. I hate dealing with something as stupid and annoying as this. This makes Basculin look like a saint. An absolute saint in comparison. When it's in trouble, its eyes moisten and begin to shine. The shining light attracts its comrades and they stand together against their enemies. Time to see the trouble with this thing. Let's check its summary. I wasted a good first minute on it. Level 17. This one's a modest nature, lost in thought. And it has schooling. No, what's the special ability? When it has a lot of HP, the Pokemon forms a powerful school. It stops schooling when its HP is low. A modest nature, and I could make use of it. This could replace my Slowpoke, but for the time being, I'm sending the darn thing into a box. And yeah, I gotta take care of my Dartrex. Wow, all, that, all those water attacks really took its toll on it. Don't worry, my friend, you're gonna get patched up soon. Much better. 
Wasted a good 10 minutes just trying to catch this annoying wishy-washy. This is so stupid. Oh my. So it was wishy-washy kicking up all that water? Even a little wishy-washy can make such big waves. Oh me, what is that? I can hear wow splashing from over there. It sounds even larger than what we just saw. Is it a Pokemon? Is it a person? I suppose we better go check. Can you hear that splashing from up ahead? I don't even have ears and I can. I swear, this is just so absolutely stupid. I wasted... You know how, how annoying it was just trying to get it? It's just... This is dumb. You guys want me to train that wishy-washy on my team? Because I would. I really would. And it's just so annoying. But at least it's fun having a Lapras surf with you. But I'll be honest, getting a surf this early... I just begin... I just can't even fathom it. Alright, we reached on the other side here. Let's check with the rest of this area out and see if we'll find it. Oh good, another revive. But it gives us another opportunity to do a little Poke Finder. Now let's see it. That's a Sir Skit. Come on, let me get at least a good shot. Don't move. Okay, I think that one shot should do it. Gotta at least try with it, right? Hey, I tried. That's a lot of thumbs up right there. 6,000. I need at least 10,000 in order to do this. It's not that I think I can. It's that I know I can. But that's another spot you can go in to take pictures. Hopefully, once you're maxed out, you can get a better shot. Anything's possible. I can't believe I wasted more than 10 minutes. Anyway. What's up here? Look! There it is! Uh, I'm sorry, what was your name? Of course, Jose. It is a lovely name, just lovely. Now look over there, do you see that? Whatever is kicking up such lovely splashes must be rather big. A strapping young swimmer, perhaps? Or an amazing Pokemon specimen? Well, whatever it is, I'll find out. Another suspicious bit of splashing out there. Don't let your droplets get on me. Get in there, Lapras, and check it out. This time, I'm not even going to waste my time. I'm going to zap this thing to kingdom come. You've been a mad annoyance. And believe me, if you saw earlier, then you can pretty much guess why. All right, man, and might let's zap this dang thing. I'm done wasting time with a fish like that. I prefer having my fish fried. Like that. Sheesh. It started raining. Oh my. So it was another wishy-washy that was kicking up all that water. Hmm, how unfortunate. It wasn't a strapping young swimmer after all. Oh my word! Now what is that? Even more furious splashing? It's not as big as a whale lord! It might just be another Pokemon, but maybe, just maybe, we'll be lucky enough to find a spry young swimmer floundering in the water in the need of saving. Let's go investigate it. What in- Where did Lana get past us? That girl must have some super secret power. And a trainer who wants a fight! When the fishing line has been cast, a sucker may come along wanting to battle. Her trainer will be hooked. I'm sorry, but after what I dealt with earlier, I mean, seriously, this is a new level of absurdity that you- Not as much as absurd as this. What am I supposed to do against that? And believe me, what's the point of dealing with a magic card? And raining is in effect, and you can- and look at the bottom screen right there. You can tell that the rain right there, on the top, on the bottom screen there, you'll notice that if any, like, weather changes happen, then you'll tell. What's the point of splashing? Seriously, get zapped. Though rain does boost water type moves by about 50%. I don't mind that. Anyway, another magic carp. Magic carp are nothing but fodder. At least they're not like Phoebus. Phoebus is a much better choice in my opinion. 
Though I'm wondering with how Gen 7, how they're going to make the whole Phoebus evolve in a Milotic thing. And believe me, trying to catch a Phoebus is an annoyance. Alright, time to get you wet out. Maybe I myself became a sucker. I don't know, maybe you did. Alright, let's get you all dried up. Come on. Booyah. Alright. There you go. Let's do it. Brooklet Hill. Within it lies the legendary Pokemon said to be the embodiment of the sea itself, the mighty Kyogre. Wait, really? Oh dear. You won't be tricked easily, Jose. But we are near the sea. If that splashing sound is coming from the sea, then I wonder what is causing it. And now it's raining as well. The rain will boost the power of any water type moves by half again. Could those splashes be caused by some Pokemon whose wounds are now growing ever stronger in the falling rain? I don't know. We're going all the way into Brooklyn Hill. I don't know about this, but I got a bad feeling. And this must be it. Jose, you've come all this way with me. I knew it! That's right. Didn't you notice? You passed through the captain's gate by my side, which means that you will undergo my trial. To clear my trial, you must defeat the great totem Pokemon known as the Lord of the Ocean. That spray of water you can see there, that is where you will probably find the totem. And perhaps those wishy-washy you battled against will also want their revenge. Defeat whatever comes at you and prove your strength to me. And remember that you cannot catch any Pokemon here unless you complete my trial. So let the trial begin! Enough time to waste. Lapras, let's go! Thunder crashed over the open sea. Dude, look at that thing! That thing is big! It's a totem wishy-washy. And it's aura flare to life. Its defenses have improved. And at level 20, it started raining. Fine, let's thundershock it. Hopefully we can take it down easily, right? Well, something like that, and you get a paralysis, I'm lucky. And it packed with a citrus berry. Well, this fight just got a little fun, and now it's sending out allies, or rather asking for them. Yep, a wishy-washy showed up. But first things first, I gotta get rid of that before I deal with the big leagues. And as messed up as this is, I'm enjoying this all the way. Yeah, go down. Good, at least Madden might level up. And it wants to learn the move Mirror Shot. Though Mirror Shot is basically a 65 power attack, well, Magnet Bomb is 60, and it launches Steel Bombs that stick to the target, and they never miss. And as much as I want to, sorry, but I'm switching to Mirror Shot. I prefer Flash Cannon, honestly. And it can't do a dang thing. <laughs> Jeez, I hate dealing with this. It's just so annoying. But you gotta admit, the look that wishy-washy when it showed up, when you saw it, it's priceless. It's just terrifying. Well, not as tough now. But it's still gonna call upon allies, really? It may call more of an... An Aloma Mola. Well, looks like I may keep myself busy with capturing Pokemon along the way, huh? Alright then. And yeah, there is slowdown if you're running this on a regular 3DS. New 3DS XL, or rather new 3DS, you don't have to worry about these issues. 
Nice. And it's now firing that water gun. And due to the rain, the damage is boosted up by half. Now let's take care of this thing. Now nah, won't work. You get shot. Good. What? Are you, are you kidding me? Fine, I'll just give you a tackle to finish the job. And yeah, it's faster. Probably do the swift swim. In rain, it doubles speed. Good. So much for that. Kadabra grew to level 23, and it learns the move Miracle Eye. And Miracle Eye enables a dark type target to be hit by psychic type attacks. And it has another use. And since teleport isn't that useful anymore, forget it. I'll get rid of it. Good. And Charger Bug also leveled up. And so did Trumbeak. You did well, my friend. You didn't let me down, man and my. I think I can trust you with it. Now let's get you cleaned up. Man, oh man. I've got to admit, this episode, this part's actually been getting really interesting. I'm enjoying it for sure. That takes care of things here. Very well done, Jose. Please come back this way. I I must say that I find myself at an impasse here. All the wishy-washy that I so diligently trained up were defeated, and that is very frustrating. But of course, I cannot let your completion of my trial go uncelebrated, Jose. You were amazing, truly impressive. Please take this. That's what I call glorious. We completed the trial. And we obtained a Z sea crystal. You don't know what that is, don't you? Watch. This is how you use Watarium Z. And that's not all I can offer you. Here. This is a Lana original. One of my own handmade fishing rods. Sweet. This is how you use my fishing rod. When you want to fish for Pokemon, look for piles of rock in the water. Fish like to hide in the shadows there. When you see your bob dip under the water, you have a bite, but you won't for long. The Pokemon will struggle to get away, so press A as soon as you see the exclamation mark. If you want to catch any of the Pokemon you fish up for your team, I recommend Dive Falls. And she gives us plenty. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? Wait, you did? Well, what do you think? You did a fine job today. Shall I see you back to the Pokemon Center on Route 5? Yes, I still have work to do. Good, let's be going then, and you can always do a spot of fishing later. Next is Kiwai's trial. It'll take place at Wella Volcano Park. Oh, and that reminds me, did you see any Sudowoodo by Paniola Ranch? They were causing some trouble for people, so I gave them a little dose of Z-Power using my Waterium Z. Just a little lesson for them. I wonder how they will react now that they see that you have Waterium Z too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw something that looked like a town farther down Route 6. Zzz. Well, only one way to find out. What a... Wait, we have another battle. Combos that can be used alone can be used when there are two of us. If it's alright with you, battle with us. Alright, a good way to end this. But I'll be honest, this one was just really something. And against rising stars. They're gonna go down rather quick. One sends out Rufflet, the other sends out Volibly. Alright then, time I send out my man and my Enkadabra. Yeah, one's male by default, the other is female by default. And I'll just use a side beam. I don't know if it'll work, but let's give it a shot. 
And yes, Kadabra is faster. Well, Rufflet went down. And Manamite leveled up to 24. Good. These special attacks are doing pretty well. And so did Dark Tricks. He's also level 24. And it also gets the move Pluck. Now let's get rid of Peck and get something better out of it. Good. Now we need to take care of that Volibly. And that Volibly just went down just as fast as Rufflet did. So much for that. And Slowpoke leveled up. Okay. And it's got Headbutt. We can replace Tackle for it. Alright, good. Didn't take us that long. There you go. Oh my gosh! Combos are so difficult, but that's why they're fun. I wonder if that's all the trainers. Though if it is, I gotta check up with the guy. Well, you never know. But yeah, I guess it was a fun way to end this. I'm one of the trial guys that are here to help out young trial goers. Yeah, yeah. Wait, didn't we already beat all of them? We took care of that. And there's still more on Route 5? I don't know if I should keep at this, but yeah, we've done pretty much enough. So yeah, pretty much I'm gonna end this episode here. Because it's been a lot of work and I need a break, so... We're pretty much done here. We got, we completed the first of three trials, and that'll be it. That's it for today's part of Pokemon Sun. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Next time, we're going to be heading down south to Route 6. And hopefully see what's up there. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be doing some catching. See you later.